Hi folks and welcome to this second video on how to use Dog E. and in this video we're going to look at the app. So we'll start by powering up our Dog E, and now we'll start up the app. Oh great it's found the Dog E. So now we'll connect. Confirm connection. Press the nose button after you hear the chime. One in a million. The tail saying one in a million. I like me. Dog E connected. You're one in a million, like me. Oh, that's what his tail said. Give me a name. So I'm going to call this particular dog Lilac Eyes. So that'll help me remember which one it is. I'm going to press confirm now. So it's asking what colour the collar is. So it's pink. What shape is the tag? It's a bone. What colour is the tag? It's yellow. What are my eye shape? They're stars. Are my ears up or down? So I've got one up and one down like that. What colour are my ears? Oh, what colour is my tongue? I didn't even realise that they come with different coloured tongues you would think they would all be pink okay lilac eyes is three minutes old so when you press this volume thing it makes the dog sing so i wonder if they've all got their own individual song So there it says adopted August the 28th. Congratulations, my pers personality is shy, hungry, lazy, snuggly and sweet. So when you press the... So we've got a little kennel here and we've got nine treats and they've all got locks on them at the moment. So let's try pressing this. So we've got an index here. Feeding. Dog bowl. Yummy puppy food. Right, so I think I can just do this. I think that was doggy eating. Now it says toss me a treat. So when you press on these, they be, you get like a large image of it on the screen. I'm not quite sure which way I'm supposed to move it. Right, so it looks like you move it to the top of the screen. Uh, that, I got it that time. That seems to work pretty well. Okay, so I think what you're supposed to do is tap on one of these meters. So when I tapped on the hunger meter, all the food came up and I fed the doggy. Now I've tapped on the love meter. So I stroked him several times and it kept pinging and then eventually I got another pink circle filled in. So I've noticed the one that's the lowest is spa. Let's press that one. So the spa is when you change the colours of the dog. So let's change the paws to lilac. And there, now she's got lilac paws to match her eyes. Okay, so that was spa. 
So we'll have a look at games in a moment. But first of all, we'll just have a look at the main menu and we'll see how that's organised. So you get to the main me menu by clicking on that set of lines in the top left hand corner. The second one down are these meters. The one at the top with the dog's head icon. That takes you to the main page. So it shows that Lilac Eyes is connected. And any of the dogs that you've minted are underneath so you can choose a different one. The third one down, the icon of a ball. That shows games and activities. Then the next one down that looks a bit like a, a sort of console icon. That's command mode. So that looks like it's really based around remote control. We've got stop, move head, bark, wagtail, run forward, howl, sing, toot. And something called custom tricks. That looks interesting. I'll look at that in the next video. The next one looks a bit like a rosette. And you can also make tricks from this section. You can also write messages on the tail and draw pictures with the tail. That's interesting. And then we've got an icon of a kennel. And that's the one where we've got the food. And finally, we've got what looks like a settings icon. So you can do things like reset dog E from this section or change the language. But we're going to finish off this video by going to the games. So we can get to that section through this by clicking on the ball icon. So it's got something called Bark Back. So it says, I bark back. In this mode, whenever you talk or make a sound, I'll bark back. Play a repeat game and hear me respond to you. Or set me up in prank mode. And I'll bark whenever I hear a sound. I will listen for five minutes in this mode. Then I will enter sleep mode to preserve battery. So let's start the game. So the noise has to be quite, quite loud. I said in my last video that I thought he had a microphone and I thought I saw somewhere that he responded to clapping and he does. So I've got Bailey with me now to see if I can get Dog E to respond to Bailey. He's not responded yet. Bailey! That got him to respond. Bailey! Sing. It's really got to be quite loud before Dog E will respond. So that was Bark Bark. And now we're going to try Fortune Teller. Fortune Teller, wait for my bark to let you know I'm listening. Ask me a yes or no question. Then pet my head and I will tell you the answer. So we'll start the game. Will my pie crawler take his first steps this week? Oh, got 
smiley face. I got a smiley face. So my, my pie crawler will take his first steps this week. So Paul, what do you think of Doggy after our first look at the app? Well, it's obviously well made. Um, and I like the way they've got the lights shining through the plastic. Um, but I think it's too sort of uh, app-centred for me, for my liking. Uh, that might be okay for some people. Um, and the, the POV tail, um, I'm a bit disappointed in that. So, yeah, that that's pretty much sums up what I think about it. I think the app works well. Um, I've only tried two games. With the Bark Back, I found you got really... I, I think you would have to shout if you weren't clapping. Yeah, the microphone's not very sensitive. Could do with being a bit more sensitive, yeah. And then with the second game, um, the touch sensor on the head didn't seem very sensitive. Mm. Yeah, yeah you, have to, you have to stroke the touch sensor to get it to give you the answer, yes or no, which was displayed as like a happy face or a sad face. Um, but it took quite a few times to get it to work. So the, the, the playability, really, the usability of it, it could be a lot better, couldn't it? Yeah, it's like they've not got the sensitivity turned up enough on the touch sensor or the microphone. I've just noticed if I screw my eyes up when I'm looking at the POV tail, I can make out the image uh, easier. <laughs> at the moment, he's wanting a bone. He's bone toy. The menu system on the app seems good quite easy to yeah, yeah. understand mm -hmm. yeah the app itself looks quite polished and there also looks like an awful lot of functionality that you get through the app right so if you're if you're a person who likes using an app with your toy you'll probably really enjoy it won't you yeah but um i, I it does seem limited outside of the app i uh -huh. don't know yeah. if i don't know if it's possible that you can learn to use it better by using the app and then maybe do some stuff away from the app. So you, you find out how it works, how it responds with the app, and then once you know that, you'd be able to play with it without the app, you mean? Possibly. Yeah. But I'm not so sure that you can actually get into games and things without going into the app. But right, yeah. all will become clearer. What I will say is it seems to have a lot more functionality after looking at the app than before I looked at the app. Yeah. So, folks, that about wraps it up for this video. And in the next video, I will be exploring some more of what Dog E can do in the app. But that's it for this video, folks. Thanks for watching, as always, and hope to see you next time.